Hey guys. All right. Okay, quick note to start. Um, we're No one is given the ability that I know of to read people's minds. Um, I'm sure for good reason, because it's incredibly invasive. Um, also, it would be incredibly overstimulating. Like, this life is stimulating enough, <laughs> for real. Um, It is what it is. If you, like, I mean, if you play games, I mean, there's repercussions. Like, you play with fire. That's what I'm getting from this, is that it's, what is that saying? You play with fire, you get burned. Um, there's, there's been an abuse of power regarding maybe work that you've been doing. Um, Something about creativity. I'll have to come back to that. Teddy, take it down. Okay, he's in the other room. Okay, I'll try to wrap this up. Um, there are some illusions potentially being cast. Um, something with emotions. Um, I forget to say this a lot, guys. Just take these thing, these if it resonates. Um, I saw someone's post the other day and they said this girl was getting upset about trolls and and um, this one girl commented like social media is entertainment and they, there was like a back and forth about it. And it is a good reminder because it is what it is, it's the world that we're living in. And I think it's amazing that a lot of people are able to make, create businesses from it, but especially tarot is is for entertainment purposes only. Um, there, it's inner. It is energy, and it is there. There is truth in it, but it doesn't mean that everything that I speak necessarily will resonate with you or is the message for you. And I will definitely say that I love it. I love a cult type of divination, but um, you can get just like anything else with social media. You can get sucked into it and all the different stories and all the different storylines, and it will very much mess with your head. Um, again, that's my experience with it. So I feel like any of this stuff, like we need breaks from it. And the more breaks that I take, the better that I feel. And so it's like, you need to have, depending on what you've got going on in your life, you need to have the things that are just a break for you or that are even an escape. I think there's a need for that. And, you know, in some ways, I don't know. I'm sure that the gurus who want to ascend all the way and would, would say differently, but um, it's here for a reason and I, I appreciate anyone who comes on here and watches and um, I love all of you and um, there was so much about it that I just didn't know what that was how and how it was going to go and that's with anything that you've got to work you're working through it as you go but um, it's definitely meant to be taken with a grain of salt so I'm working on trying to be more less of this talk and more just the card so that I'm not adding more to the more fuel to the fire that doesn't need to be there either. If I get some kind of a message that comes through, I do want to speak that because, um, it could be for someone else, but, um, there's so much that I, I, all I can say is that there's so much about being on your own that's going to teach you about yourself and about life and about who you are and what you really care about and what your true needs are. And, um, that you realize just more and more, like it, it's, it sucks if you grew up in a toxic environment or that, you know, 
you've stayed with in, in that for a long time and like having to break away from it and having to learn the hard way about it, I think is probably the most painful part. Um, but there's so much beauty in being on your own and learning what you really want and need and how to ask for that and how to discern who is meant for you and who is not, because it takes time to learn who's, who's a karmic and who's not. And like, what you really want and all of that. Like there's still, I'm still on that process, in that process. So it's like, it, there's nothing wrong with being single. I just had that chat with them that got dude the other day. And I was, he was like, it's sad that I've been single this long. And I was like, no, it's not. Like who told you that? You know, it's like, you just realize it's like, that's a story. Like it's there, there's beauty in both to me. It's like, there's beauty, especially in people who, who are in a divine union, but they worked on themselves. They did enough inner work to attract that person. And it's just, I just had that thought last night and I'm going to, I know I'm so bad about this. I've, I've worked, I'm trying to figure out how to separate my stuff from the cards and not put it all together. But like there's so much about the world that we glorify that's maybe not even healthy because it's all just what you see and what shows up and um like I just feel like the relationships that are beautiful and sacred are more boring and they're not, they're not as, ex it's not as exciting and it's not as, um, it's not dramatic and it's not, <laughs> um, they may, it may, like, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of a particular couple and they don't even post much about their, about their life together because they're more, for, they're, they're in a specific type of union and they're like, they're, um, um, they have a, they're doing like a, their work together, but like, they don't post that much about their relationship. And it's like, that's probably the best way to be because what this world is just full of ideas and like the romance thing, it pulls you in so much of like, Oh, I gotta be the savior for this person. And like, and we all have those moments. Like I still fall into that trap of like being the damsel in distress. And it's like, cause it's hard as a single parent there's, and we need to give ourselves that like okay, it's hard. It's effing hard. And it's, it, you want to run away or you want to find that security sometimes. And like speaking to it, I think is important, but actually like saving each other, we get ourselves into trouble. So, um, I just wanted to speak that because there's just, there's just no way to describe because it's going to be individual, like what you're going to learn about yourself being single and being on your own and, realizing how how incredibly resilient and resourceful and capable we are but it's hard it's freaking hard for our mind and it's freaking hard for the abandonment wound within us it's freaking hard for our inner child like there's parts about it that are just very very hard and painful and scary and it's when you have had those people that were there for you like you still want to like go back to that place but then you have to remember like okay was that person actually there for me or did they just want something from me so you, that you, you build that relationship with yourself and you love yourself so much more and you're so proud of yourself and you're so grateful, um, that you had, that you had to learn those hard lessons because that built that relationship with yourself and, um, that breaks that codependency, that breaks the victim story. That's really what you're, what you're looking for. Okay. <laughs> That's enough of that, because these cards are really are 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 mel It's very melancholy. There's there's been some backstabbing. Um, I even got that you feel like you put the swords in your back or something like that. Um, because of course there is that too of like when other people are, are like um giving you a negative reflection or it's a lot of drama or chaos. It's like, it's actually that you still have to be the one to take your power back or calm the situation or stay in self-control or, you know, like it still is all about how, my, how I respond to whatever's going on. Um, and there's so much that we don't have control over. Okay. Five of cups out here. So you're feeling left out. Um, I'm getting, there's, it's showing that you're coming out of this nine of wands position. So, you're trying to, you're like, okay, F it. Like, I'm going to figure something else out because this isn't working type of thing is what I'm getting. Um, you're lacking some direction, maybe. 
when you're not struggling with discernment. So we don't have a whole lot of positive cards. So I hope that something that I said brought something, something positive. Um, and I know I go back and forth, y'all, because I am very watery and I love being able to be like give in whatever way that I can, but I also have a lot going on and um, a lot of me learning what the boundaries are is little bumblebee out there. Probably a carpenter bee. Um, and how much I can actually take on and stuff like that. So it's like my email is really just meant to be for personal readings, um, just for business. And I love you guys so much. You are so much more strong and capable then we can't, we can't, we, we can't, we can't, <laughs> we can't understand. We can't, our mind can't understand. Like the, especially the ego, the ego is like, what security, what protection, what the past. And you're like, and, but your higher self is like, F that we're going, we're that chariot's going upright. We're going, we're, we're chugging ahead. So, um, it's just calming the ego or letting things go and realizing that we are actually fine. And we feel like we're, we're, everything is scary or it's overwhelmed or we have to worry but um so give yourself that time for that for sure but like the more that you are there for yourself or even like changing a habit like there's lots of little things that you can do like for me like I know the eating it's like I've got to figure out how to meal prep because I if I don't meal prep then I'm not going to get the things that I need to eat and I know when I do that I it's like a, it's healing it's like nurturing myself so um it's crazy. It's crazy trying to love yourself, heal yourself, like not be dependent on others for all these things that we feel like we need, we, we need to be. And then realizing too, how much gratitude that gives you because you're like, Oh my gosh, we've been, I've been, God's been there the whole time. Like my angels have been, my spirit guides have been with me this whole time protecting me because nobody else was. So it's like, that's so powerful and so special. And it helps you just to be grateful for life and the cards that you've been given because it is what it is. We've all got a tough journey. Um, all right. I love you guys. And if you need to find a safe person to talk to or talk, go within and talk to God. Um, okay. I love you guys. You can book a personal reading with me. You are protected, you are safe, you are whole, you are strong, you are a bad ass, okay?